Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're gonna be playing some more of Final Fantasy X-2 with our new Yevon run. Guess what we're doing next? We are saying it's time to play the game. Here we go. Okay. All right, you guys. My controller died while I was doing that. Okay, here we go. Yes, controller is good. It looks like you guys can hear. Tell me if the sound is off. Here we go. All right, before we get started on too much, I just want to check and make sure I have equipped what I want to have equipped. So yeah, um, warrior with two muscle belts. Yes, that's fine. She's got alchemist. Yep. Um, those are good too. Black mage. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, abilities. Let's go look at where their abilities are so I can remember. Okay. She's just working on delay attack. Riku. Chemist. Yeah, I want to get her the, I want to get her the passives and then I want to start up here and get all the way up to mega potion because that's going to be really fucking useful. Okay. Pain. Pain is working on her last one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. First stop, this stream is going to be Besaid. If you know what's coming up, you know. Get ready for some frustration. I'm not, but it's happening. Ooh, let's put on popcorn mode. So, you return the sphere to New Yevon? Why'd you do a thing like that? What do you mean? The Besaid Orox have all joined the Youth League. Well, officially at least. And uh, Walker hasn't joined up yet. Can't blame him, yeah? His kid's popping out any minute, you know. Now's not the time for him to be fussing around with politics. Fussing, you say? Who's he? I am Becklam. I've been dispatched to Besaid by Youth League headquarters. I'm here to pound some fight into these pathetic slackers. Oh, are you Becklam? He's a hundred times stricter than Walker. You must be awfully confident in your strength if you're skipping training just to flap your lips like that. So, I guess you won't mind showing me what you're all really made of then. Oh, no way. He's what are you talking about? What do we do now? Is no one among you man enough to break my record? <laughs> you're pathetic. Okay, he's creeping me out. Yeah, he is. Seriously. See you later, Yuna. Stop that at once. The age of temples and prayers is over. It's about time you let go of those musty old traditions. Excuse you? There's no need to bow down to summoners either. Yes, summoners are a thing of the past. You could have expressed that later, Becklam, when Yuna's not around. Right there. Whose calm do you think this is, Buster? There are no more aeons to summon. Summoners are worthless now. You will take those words back. I will. If you succeed in proving your worth to me. Well, what do you say? You're on, bitch. Let's get him. Mish on time. How can you even win the Gunner's Gauntlet? You can't see with that weird helmet. Okay, run the Gunner's Gauntlet. We gotta score more than 500 points. Um, show me the tutorial so I can remember the buttons. On before, you had best break my record. Now, begin. Let's see if we can. This mini game is actually really difficult for me. So we're going to see. Uh, that's why we're doing the tutorial first. So I can make sure I remember. Okay. First target. Yes. Press B. Okay. B is the, yep. An A to fire. Yep. Keep firing. Okay. B to target, A to fire. Yeah, X will toggle. Okay. 
dual shot. Okay, and we use lock on. Yeah, okay, and you use the left and right buttons to go through the shots. Okay. Let's keep moving. Death. Boom. She didn't get that chest. Throws you right in after the tutorial. Okay, we're gonna try to get to the safe spot where she can't get attacked. Need total concentration. Come on, give me ammo. And remember where the safe spot is. Oh shit. I think it's past here. Remember where the safe spot is. Is it on the next screen? Shit. I lost my thing. Oh, nope. This wasn't right. It was back here. Okay, safe spot must be this waterfall right here. So I was already there. Like right here, right? Yeah, I think I messed up. Got to get to 500 points, and I messed it up.
Okay, let's go, let's go. Run, run, run. We got 500, it's okay. Koneko! We're doing a very annoying mini game that I hate and I'm bad at, but I think I just did it. Yes! But I find it hard to believe you defeated Sin. You, obviously, had some help. I did, from my friends. My pilgrimage was successful because my friends and the A.S. <sighs> my heart is racing so much. <sighs> and they still do. Memories of the time we spent together make me strong. I won't stand here and let you call that strength useless. Must your kind always prattle on about your precious memories? He's got some nerve. Yeah, he does. Poor loser. Whew, okay, we did the required part. We did the required one. First try, so that's good. That's lucky. Um, Enigma plate garment grid. There is another garment grid that you can get from this if you get a score of 1,150. We're gonna try. <laughs> We're gonna try. All right. So we did we did the little we did the little mission that she got to do. Excuse me. Um, and then we're gonna actually go back to Besaid. And there are um there are things that you can do here for publicity. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. How are you doing today, Koneko? I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. How were the horsies yesterday? Okay, so for this lady that's outside the tent, you can do the second one for publicity and for matchmaking, you can do the third one. Then if we go inside the tent, there's a guy in here and you can do the first publicity for him. Now we're gonna go over to the accessories shop and you can do publicity for her on the fifth one and then matchmaking on the third one. You can do the lady walking her dog again this chapter. And for publicity, you do the fourth one. And for matchmaking, you also do the fourth one. Uh, Keepa. We can do Keepa again. I think he's inside the tent again. Or maybe he's moved because they're all outside. Oh no, here, here he is. He's here again. So for Keepa publicity, you do the first one. And then we're going to go to those kids that are outside uh, the temple and we can do publicity for the boy. The horsies were good, but I'm gonna have to write an angry email to the stable owners again, because again, they put people who absolutely cannot ride an advanced level in our group. Oh my God. I feel like that's like the second time you've told me that. Is it the second time it's happened or has it happened more times? Okay, so for the boy on publicity on this one, you can do the third one. There we go. That's the publicity stuff for this. It's the second time. It's happened twice over the past two months and it's getting stupid. Yeah, that is dumb. Like, why would they do that? They have a beginner's class. Just put them in the beginner's class. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's very weird. Let's get the Chabokabo. Caught. Especially since it went so horribly wrong last time. Yeah. Oh, why aren't you? Why'd you shell? Oh, no, you are caught. Okay. I thought we were about to get Chocobo Mateoed. <laughs> but no, we're all good. It's all fine. Okay, let's save. Let's do new save data for today. Okay, so this should put us at 35.2%. So let's open our handy dandy save viewer and let's make sure that's where we are. Okay, yes, we're at 35.2%. All right. There are chests here as well. So I think... Oh, wait. 
Let's get this chocobo first. Ooh, she learned chemist, yay! These people were one-off guests who said they had done some advanced stuff. I don't know what they call advanced, but they were both sitting like they were on freaking merry-go-round. What? <laughs> what? So did they just lie? How, so like, what is the, what is the stable, what do they do like if somebody just like, they just lie? Okay, let's, um, I think if we do the Gunner's Gauntlet, it'll, now that it's not the, uh, actual, like, plot time to do it, if this is just extra, I think it's gonna put us at the end, and then we can walk back to get the chests. I think they either lied or wherever they usually go has very low standards. Oh, I see. So, like, they either lied or they just straight up didn't know because they don't, because they go to a different stable. That's crazy. Imo, the instructor, should have kicked them out of the lesson, but she didn't know if that was allowed, which it should be. It should be for sure. And why wouldn't the instructor have, like, like know what they're supposed to do when they have somebody in the wrong class? Like, that should be part of, like, guidelines that they have somewhere that the instructor should know, you know? Okay, we're going to try it again. Uh, yes, we're going to challenge the high score, 750. Here we go. I'm actually going to try to find the, the spot this time, the safe spot, which I didn't end up using the safe spot last time, but I really should have. I made it harder on myself than it had to be. Shit. I got bitted. Birdie. Is this is the safe spot? Oop, I didn't mean to use death on him. It doesn't feel like this is the safe spot to me. But according to the Googles, it is. And I have done this before, so I know a safe spot exists. Is it like here? Nope, that's not the safe spot. Fucked it up. Yeah, this isn't the safe spot either. Where is it? Is it right here? We need to test this, actually. Yeah, it's not here. Where the fuck is it? Here? We're not gonna win this run. I'm just trying to find where the safe spot is. Is it in front of this waterfall? Come on. Come on, monsters. Yep, there it is. Found it.
Yeah, we don't have enough time. Don't have enough time to quite get to 750, I don't think. Oh, maybe? Can I do it? I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna reach Becklum. Run, run, run! I'm gonna be like second shy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we do it? <gasps> what? We did it. We got 750. The regular instructor is still fairly new and this is their first summer here and these shenanigans only happen in summer. Well, I guess that would make sense. Of course they would only happen in the summer. Last time we had a temp who's never had a summer here before. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, I guess if it's going to happen, it's going to happen over the summer when, like, kids are out of school and all that stuff. Cat hair in the air. Go away. Okay. New high score. Okay. We got power wrists. Whew. Okay, yes. It does sit us at the end when we do that. Okay. So that's going to unlock the next level. So in this mini game, basically what happens is every time you beat a new high score, you you unlock a level, but you can totally like unlock multiple levels at once, right? So like we're on level three right now, or we're about to do level three. But if I surpass like the next like the next multiple high scores, then it'll just like skip levels for us. And it goes all the way up to level nine. So there's two chests right there. Um, high potions and 1,500 gil. There's a couple more chests that we can get when we run back. Come on. Go, Yuna. There we go. All right. There is one chest. Oh, oh my gosh. Get up there. There is one chest inside this cave here that we have access to. If you have unlocked that other area, which we did not unlock yet, there are more chests that you have access to in this chapter, but since we did not unlock that other area yet, we don't have access to the chapter two quest in there, or chapter two um, chest in there. Quest, chest, whatever, same thing. Oh, she's still on Gashel Greens, oh my God. You need to attack. You need to attack. There we go. Goodbye. Bam, bam, bam. And for now, some good news. Oh, yay, I love good news. Um, I went to Castle Fest last Friday, and I finally got some animal ears. <gasps> my mom, partner, and I are in disagreement over what kind of animal I am. I think fox, mom thinks cat, partner thinks wolf. Oh, my God. Well, they must be good ears if you can use them for anything. I'm so excited for you. Are you gonna like make something with them or are you just gonna wear them? What color are they? I wanna know everything. Give me details. If you can take a picture, I would love a picture as well. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, Riku's, let's look at um, Alchemist. Oh, I wanted to go to abilities. What the heck am I doing? I was too excited. Okay, Elementalist. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. All right, the chest is over here. And it is some more potions. Burn, burn baby, burn. Disco Inferno. I'm gonna wear them for now. Maybe I'll get a matching tail later too. And after that, I'm gonna start thinking about a custom set. Yes! I'm happy for you, Kaneko. That is awesome. Oversoul. Okay, let's kill the other guy first. They're brown and gray actually match my natural hair color, which is very fun. Oh! Well, brown and gray, I guess that could match like a lot of animals, you know, because all of those animals kind of have the similar shaped ears. So depending on the size, I could see how you could say it's any. Very versatile. Don't be 
smoking's bad for you. Like, I think if I remove the bells and bows from these, they could be any of those animals, too. But since they have the bells and bows, they are a cat, obviously. Lots of anemones in here. I'll have to take a pick after I wash my hair. My hair's kind of a mess right now, mood. <laughs> when it's poofy, it's hard to see the headband. Oh, I love that, yes. You always want to hide the headband if you can. That's the best looking thing, when you can do that. All right, back out the cave. My ears are kind of small, but I'm thinking I might be for a gray fox rather than red fox, which most people will think of when you say fox. Yeah, most people definitely think of the red when you say a fox. Like that's kind of like the standard stereotypical is the red. But grays are common too. Ashes to ashes. So what's next? What's next is getting another chest. Okay, so the other chest is down here. Same in this waterfall area that we got a chest before. Here we go, it's a wall ring. Only in America, they aren't in Europe. Oh, I see, I see. In Europe, it's all red ones? I never knew that. There's definitely both here. But honestly, what you notice more of in, in the U.S. is coyotes. Foxes kind of stay hidden, you know? But out in the country, you actually will, like, hear coyotes and sometimes see them. And they are actually pretty dangerous to pets and things like that. Like, you don't want to go- you don't want to go talk to a coyote. Yay! Okay, she finished Black Mage. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so since Pain, pretty sure she finished. Oop, go to Pain. I'm pretty sure that's yes. She's Master Black Mage. Okay, fantastic. So we want to equip her with Gunner. We want to put her back on Gunner. Okay, I actually need to update the garment grid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we only have red foxes here. Oh, I see, I see. I did not know that. All right, she's back on Gunner, so she's going to learn these things. She's already got all the passives. Okay, fantastic. All right, sweet. So we're going to have her try to master Gunner next. Or at least she's going to use it for the next while. All right, back over here. We definitely need to save. All right, let's talk to Becklem again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll show you what I got. Uh, 900 is the next high score. Okay, let's see if we can actually get 1,000. Oh my gosh, oh. I'm out of ammo. I actually used it all on those two. Oh my god. That's probably gonna be a mistake. Not gonna get bitten this time. Bitch.
Oh, I didn't mean to use the death on him. It's okay, I got some more. You're in the safe place now, you don't have to be so, like, quick to shoot him. Okay, we did get a thousand. We're so close to the 1,500 milestone, oh my god! <gasps> 
That thing did bite me and I lost it. We didn't quite get the 1,500. Oh my gosh. We got very, very close though. <sighs> okay, we did get 1,000, so we got the next two levels. Okay, got a new high score. Yeah, 900 points, silver bracer. Okay, 1,000 points, titanium bangle. Oh wait, <gasps> it was 1,150, we did do it. <gasps> I thought it was 1,500, it's 1,150. I said that at the beginning of doing this and then I forgot. Anyways, we did it, mortal coil garment grid. Um, I'm pretty sure we only have red foxes to buy on us. I don't really care what kind of animal I am. I'm only, it's only relevant when, uh, when, uh, for when I want to get a matchy tail. Yes, that's the right attitude, Koneko. Freedom. Okay. So if you keep going, um, for 1,300 there, you get a beaded brooch. For 1,400, you get diamond gloves. For 2,000, you get fairy earrings. And for 2,800, you get adamantite. Adamantite is a really, really good, um, accessory. We're not going to bother though. We're not going to bother. <laughs> Uh, so you can talk to him again to do the challenge again. Um, and actually once you get to level seven here, you can do like ammo upgrades and quick shots and all kinds of stuff. And he'll give you like new instructions on it, but we're not going to do any of that. Um, this game is very, uh, difficult for me. It gets my, you know, it gets, it gets, it gets me hype. It gets me hype up. So we're actually going to leave. I think after the mortal coil garment grid, the rest of the stuff that you can win is just nice to have. There's other ways to get all of those same accessories. So you really do not have to do this. So at the end here, the closest save point is actually going into the cave and going to the end of the cave. So that's what we're going to do before we go to the next area. I just checked on the maker's website and I think the model I have is cat, but not a color variant that's listed on the site so I can improvise. Oh, nice. Um, the colors actually best match one of the hyena or wolf models on site. Oh, uh, well, maybe that was like, because I'm sure that people that make this stuff, they end up like getting requests. So maybe someone requested like the cat style with that color, but then like they didn't pick it up or something like that. So they just sold it like I can I could totally see that. What kind of tail do you want to get? Okay, let's save. Okay, and we'll, um, no. And then we'll board the airship to go to our next area. Whee! Okay, the next area is Makalania. Let's go. All right, so for Makalania, there are some publicity things to do here. When you first land this guado right here, you can do publicity with, with the first one. And then we're going to go get another publicity down here. Ooh, I'm still like jittery from doing that. Oh my gosh, excuse me. All right, so then we do this. Yeah, this guy right here, the old guado. So you can do publicity for him on the fourth one. I might get hyena tail. Ooh, I like the shape of that one. It looks similar enough to gray fox. That's cool. Hyena's kind of unique, I think. Reminds me of the, um, shoot, what's his name in Agretzko? The hyena guy in Agretzko. He's so funny. I love him. Or maybe a lynx tail, though I like the longer tails better than the shorter tails. I understand. Okay, so what you actually want to do here for reals to do this area is come talk to this Hypello right here. Yeah, Hida. Hida, yeah. Hello, Baldwings. Good to see you. Oh, it's Toby's assistant. Would you mind doing us a favor? What kind of favor? Chief throwing a festival, singing and dancing in celebration. We're seeking musicians for a troupe, yes. Where could they be? So, you want us to help you find them? We're counting on you, Gullwings. Sure, why not? Thank you. If you find musician, give them this letter, yes? Okay. All right, so we got to go on a mission to find musicians. Um, I'm going to show you the method that I do. So we're going to first walk on the incandescent pathway here, or the iridescent pathway. He, Haida. Yeah, they have a Haida Meidel on the side. Oh, that's funny. You know what's another cool hyena character? 
um, Kyle from Animal Crossing. I love the I love the model for his character. He's so cool. All right, and you can get a silver bracer right here. So that's a that's a chest that you can get. And then we're going to continue down the rest of the iridescent pathway. Hyenas are cool and they deserve more love. I agree. Hyenas are really freaking cool. Very neato animals. Okay, and then if we come up here, we want to go to this spring. And there's a musician right there. The heartbird guy. Um, Barya, I think. What business do yeah. you have with me? We have a letter from someone named Tobli. Do you think you can help him out? I must speak with my friends. It is not my right to decide for them. That's so nice of you. A moment, please. How strange. I cannot hear their voices. Their minds must be closed. What do you mean? The spirits of my friends often become butterflies and drift through the woods. If it is no trouble, why don't you seek them out and ask them yourself? All right, mission time. We have to find the butterfly circles. Because of course there's butterflies in the woods. There is a small one right here. So we're going to go into this one. And then there should be another one right here. Yep. So what we're really looking for is the large version of the musicians, but you want to find all the small ones too for a prize later on. And then what we're going to do is come back this way, but instead of taking the um, iridescent pathway, we're going to take the actual woods path. And there should be, you can see it right up there. It's up at the top. So we're going to come around here. And we want to get over there and we want to jump through the, through the circle. Right here. Yay. Annie Falls. That's where you can find all the small ones. So you want to do that for a prize later. So now we actually want to find the big ones to complete this particular um, section. Oh no, fuck you. Absolutely the fuck not. We are not. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope, nope. That's big old nope. Escape. Yeah, nope. You're not going to crush me today. Absolutely the fuck not. We are not doing that. <clears throat> I hate those things. I hate those things. We are not. All right, so now what we want to do is continue down the woods path without jumping. We're just going to go the right way this time. There is a chest in this area. I think it's in the same spot that the chest normally is, so we're going to pick that up as well. Don't be one of- okay, we'll fight you. We'll fight you. That's acceptable. Mm, actually, I think I want you doing trigger happy. An all melee group is so fun. They go so fast. Thank you so much for the lurk, Koneko. We love our lurkers here. Okay. 
then we're just gonna keep on going. I'm trying to remember where exactly the chest is. There, there it is, there it is. Okay, we get an icy gleam. So you can pick up an icy gleam here. And then we're gonna keep going around. And hopefully I don't get turned around like I love to do in this area and then start going backwards on accident. We're doing good so far. We're doing good so far. Long twisty turny. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're back at the entrance. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, battle. So I guess you could actually backtrack if you didn't want the chest. You could totally backtrack from the uh from the little butterfly if you don't care about getting the icy gleam. It would be faster than running all the way through the woods. But I wanted to show you guys all the chests that you can get, so. Stupid distortion wave undoing my chain. So trigger happy wasn't as awesome as it should be. There we go. Now it chaining. Chaining good. Triple chain. Let's heal up. All right, so we're gonna come down here. And we wanna go back this way where we went before. And here's the butterflies in the kissing spring area. Oh dear, oh my, you startled me. Whatever could the problem be? I have a favor to ask. I love no, the musicians. I mind at all. We'll play our songs and have a ball. They're such good side characters. All right, so now we need to find Donga, the drummer musician. He is back this way. And to get to him, we follow up the iridescent path. So lots of running around in Makalania. Yuna, marimas. Yuna, marimas. What does that even mean? I actually don't know. I'm sure it's Japanese something, but I don't know. Marimas. Does it mean like I'm here, I'm ready? Or something. It feels like that's what she's saying. Nice work. And there's Donga. Almost forgot his name for a second. Huh? What can I do for ye? Well. I, I, I can help ye. If it's music that you're after, just leave it to me and the lads. Yeah. We are after some music. All right, now once you've gathered them all here, you want to speak to the bird one? My friends do not seem to object. We will help you, Tobli. We shall present a great event. We'll get them all a real gas, you'll see, eh? Yes, it will be a brilliant finale for our doomed kind. They're so sad. If only all the fate had stayed, the woods would never ever fade. Aww. But it looks like we'll be meeting our end someday soon. So they are part of the woods. That's what keeps them going, is the woods being good and healthy. And for this, you get a haste mangle. Return to the Celsius. So we actually do not want to return to the Celsius quite yet, I don't think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not going to return to the Celsius. Okay. 
Can't believe it gives you a choice this time. What we want to do actually is go this way down the path again. And we're going to go talk to that high pillow from the beginning. What's up, my dude? Thank you for finding the troop. Here is a present for you. Present for me? <gasps> Bitter farewell garment grid. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Um, I don't have anything in my notes over here for over at the uh at the temple area, like the the travel agency that Oaka had bought. But we're just gonna walk over there real quick. I just wanna see if there's anything over there. I feel like there should be a chest over there, but I just don't recall it. And I didn't write it in my notes. I'm, I know there's not a mission over there. At least in this part, in this chapter. Next chapter there is. Yeah, there is a chest here. Oh, and the owl beds are still here. Bra! Awaka paid you back, I know. I love Payne's gunner outfit. It looks so freaking cool. Payne's so freaking cool. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, here it is. All right, we get some potions. Yeah, there's nothing. I guess there's nothing. I guess he hasn't paid them back yet. Maybe he does that at the end of the chapter. I don't know why I didn't write down that chest. Oversoul! Ooh, she learned Cheap Shot. I don't think- I think for Gunner- Do I need to, like, mess with the abilities? Like, move around what she's learning? I don't- I feel like I don't. Yeah, let's just- let's just keep her there. I don't remember what all the Gunner learned. I just used Trigger Happy over and over, so I don't remember what all they learn. That Lady Grey tea was very caffeinated, my gosh. I can feel it. All right, we're gonna walk back down the iridescent path. I do have in my notes that there's a chest by the agency. It was just in the middle and I didn't notice it. I was supposed to go grab that when I went and got, um, Plutarch, whatever his name is. Plutarch with the horn. All right, so now we're done with Makalania. We can save. We should be, after that, at 36.6%. So let's check. Yep, we're at 36.6. Okay, let's get back on the airship. Alright, so now we're actually going to start doing the things that you're supposed to do in this chapter and collect syndicate uniforms. So the first stop for that is going to Jose. Alright, so here we're going to do um, a couple of things first before we go to get the uniform. Inside the temple there are a couple of chests. And I think they're both in these back rooms. Um, oh yeah, here's one. Echo screens, you can't see it. It's behind my face, but just trust me, there's a chest there. <laughs> there's a chest there, but I'm blocking it. Okay, I think the other one is in here. 
I don't see it. Is it over here? Maybe it's not in the temple. I think I know, I think I, I remember where it is. I don't think it's, it's not in here. I think I remember. It's back out and it's over this way. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times are changing. That's true. Phoenix down, so you can get Phoenix downs back here. Okay, let's do some publicity on this area. So it's similar, it's the similar people that we talked to before. So this lady right here by the save sphere, she can do the third one for the publicity. And for the matchmaking, she can do the fourth one. And then the Albed lady right here, for publicity, she can do the first one. And for um, matchmaking, she can do the fifth one. Do you believe in destiny? All right, this guy right here in the green, he can do the second one for publicity. And that's it on this screen. We're gonna go to the next screen next. Hey, what are you, hey, hello, how, hi, excuse you. They run so fast. Okay, this lady right here you can do publicity with. Um, she does the third one for publicity and for matchmaking the fifth one. Okay, and then all of these guys can do it too. So this one in orange and green, you can do the first one. For the guy in yellow, you can do the fourth one. And then for this guy over here in the green, you can do the fifth one. This chest right here, we got some potions. And if we come down here, it's the same lady in purple that you can do publicity and matchmaking for. So publicity, she can do the third one. And for matchmaking, she can do the fifth one. All right. Now we can go chase those goons. Hey, hey guys, I um, I would like some fashion tips from you, please. Um, you look very cool, I think, and I would like to know how you do that. On special assignment, yes, carrying out our duties, yes. Okay, whatever, you mean bullying the, the hover drivers. Hmm, that's weird. Where did we drop that thing? We gotta find that sphere or the boss will be furious. We might even get the heal. Why don't you stop complaining and help me look? Hey, did you hear that? Let's find it first. Yeah. Someone's turning Yuna into a bad girl. Who? She's not bad, she's just ambitious. And she's always been ambitious. This is actually normal for her. You guys just don't understand. Alright, so we're gonna come down here, we're looking for a sphere. We got the fun music. And I'm running to the side because it's like over to the side, but I can't remember exactly where. The sound when the fem goons die. <laughs> so funny. Here it is. <gasps> I saw it. I saw it. Oh, and because we're new Yevon, Youth League people fight us here too. If you go with the Youth League, only goons fight you here. That's crazy. Hello. Oh, it's Flora Falal, Yuna's special dress sphere. Oh, that's where it was. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I appreciate you finding it for us, though. You're welcome, I guess. What? You're not giving it back? The nerve! <laughs> so intense, Orby. The gold wings. These meanies! Oh, give me back the sphere! <gasps> <laughs> 
so then we take it back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Logos, you tell him. Take it back. But you're not going to succeed. I'm sorry. I know you're trying to protect your boyfriend's honor, but it's not going to happen because we're here. Goodbye, little girl. <laughs> what? Concussive shock? That's so rude. There should be a shield dress fear with Ormi's abilities. I would like that. That would be very cool. I wonder- I bet it's not possible really to mod in additional dress spheres into this game because I've never seen a mod like that. But if that was possible, that would be a really cool dress sphere. What you doing blind and Yuna like that? That's so rude. Let's fix it. And they just run away like the cowards they are. <laughs> totally took her uniform. She's in her underpants now. Yay, you liberated a syndicate uniform. All right, so that's one down. Um, oh wait, I wanna go save. So the first uniform you get, that puts it on Riku. So now she runs around in a uniform on the ship. Okay, 37%, it should be exactly 37%. Let's make sure. Yes, 37%, okay. Let's go get the next uniform. The next uniform is in Beaconel. Danger, danger, suspicious something, something. All right. I think we gotta talk to Nautila. Oh, before you start digging, I'd really like you to go check out the Oasis for me. Sure. Some strange stuff's been washing up there lately. I'd appreciate it if you looked into it. No problem. Let's go look. So she's got you on another errand now, has she? I heard there have been some weird folks hanging around the Oasis. Better make sure you're ready before heading out there. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oasis. This is the only place you can go. You can't go anywhere else in this chapter until you've taken care of the Oasis mission. Mission time. What are we doing here? We got Riku's special dress for your Machina Maw. Well, fancy meeting you so it's possible here. to miss Pain's, but it's impossible to miss Yuna's and Riku's, really. You can lead a to I think water, that's how that works. But you can't make it drink. Um, say, those are nice uniforms. Enough of this nonsense. You mad at me? You mad at me for beating up your boyfriend, Logos? Well, I'm not mad at me. In fact, I think I did the right thing. Enchanted ammo. We'll have to go look at that. I guess Ormi's feelings are really hurt from the last one because he doesn't even come help Logos out. And Logos helped him out. But it's just not the other way around. See who cares about who. Yeah, mission complete. 
Yay, we got another uniform. An hour of need garment grid. Okay, so at this point, you want to make sure you have done everything that I've done up to this point because we're about to go next into the um, area of no return for this particular chapter. Now, Hour of Need Garment Grid, that's a really good one. So we are actually gonna switch to using that. So I'm gonna put Warrior in the middle. We're gonna put Gunner over here for Pain, Alchemist over here for Riku. And then let's see, White Mage also for Riku. And then Yuna is, was working on Psychic also. So we're gonna do it like this. And then we're gonna equip Hour of Need to everybody. All right, so there we go. Major upgrade on the garment grid right there. Let's look at our accessories. I just want to make sure this is still... Oh, I, I need to sort them first. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. All right, let's sort them. Let's see if these are still the best accessories that we have. Okay, strength and defense. Yes, this is still the best for that. I guess we could do a power wrist. Power wrist and a muscle belt. Let's see. She's got wristband, strength by 10. Cast haste, haste when HP is low. Um, generates constant protect effect. I definitely think I want that. Raises the frequency of random. No. No. I don't really care about the ones that are like when HP is low. You know what I'm saying? What's this? Fire. Let's do a muscle belt on her. What is pain got? Silver bracer and circlet. I don't think she needs silver bracer anymore because of not using the black mage at the moment. So instead of max MP, Let's give her Titanium Bangle. And then instead of Circlet, let's give her a Muscle Belt as well. Okay, I think that's better. All right, let's look at our abilities. I, I know we got a new one for Pain. Okay, it's still 30 for target MP, okay. All right, we're good. So let's save, let's check our percentage. We should be at 37.2. After doing that Beaconel step, that only that Beaconel step only gets you 0.2 percentage points. Yeah, 37.2. Okay, fantastic. All right. Also, before we move on, we are going to go to the Calm Lands. Oh, look, Payne has the uniform now too. No leads on the uniforms, boy. I'm the one finding all the leads. Hello. Um, we're gonna go to the Calm Lands and check on our progress for the PR mission and the marriage mission see if we missed anybody interest in my son up to 200 okay yes that's where we're supposed to be yeah can't say i know what that means i understand all right and then we're gonna go over here and check for the pr mission pr mission should be at 480 if it's not at 480 we missed one which is possible um so i'm not gonna go back and find the one that i missed i don't think but uh y'all will know that we missed one if it's not at 480, but it should be. All right, Argent, tell me what's up. How am I doing? 480, okay, publicity level three. All right, so we have not missed one yet. Now, in this part of the game, if Payne had not quite finished up with learning all of her abilities for Black Mage, I'd probably grind a little bit here in the Calm Lands, but she has finished, so we don't need to do that. We're just going to go board the airship. 
And we're going to head to the next area. And that is going to be Mount Gagazet. It's the only place we have not been yet. All right, and here we need to speak to Kimari twice. Kimari, sorry. Sorry about what? Kimari, look for Sphere for Yuna, but Kimari find nothing. Kimari disappoint Yuna. It's all right, Kimari. Of course, I'm happy that you tried to help, but Yuna has to deal with Yuna problems. True. Kimari search mountain long time, but still one place Kimari not look. Fate scar rises high on mountain. Scar is sacred ground. Which Ronso not tread. There might still be some spheres up there. Summoners no longer climb mountain. Now only sphere hunters come. That's sad. Kimari worry hunters defile sacred ground. Do you think it's LeBlanc and her goons? Maybe we should check. Is that okay? Kimari trust Yuna. Kimari not worry. Aww. Yuna's the only trusted sphere hunter by the Ronsos. Ronso, you filled with anger. Hate Guado. Kimari must stop fight. But Kimari not wise enough. Okay, so what we want to say to him is the second option. Yeah, you have to figure this out on your own. I know, like, it's harsh. I know it's harsh, but that's what you have to say. It's really annoying. I don't like that, but that's what you have to tell him. I agree with you, no. Hmm. Elder who rely on other. Not worthy. So sad. I didn't mean it that way, Kimari. Yeah. Kimari, thank you, no. Burden of elder lighter now. How, and I don't understand how this makes the burden lighter, but apparently it does. So then for the lady, you choose this one. Um, you choose the first one. He does seem very tired, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I'm just looking at my notes just to make sure, but I think this is right. He does seem very tired. And then for all the other Ronso, you choose the second one. So then we would say, yeah, maybe the Guado really are to blame for this one right here. Please try to think of it some more. Yeah, I understand. You talked to Garrick many times. For this one, and what of the Guado? All Guado are bad, Ronso know this. It's a little reductive. Ronso, grow strong, destroy hated Guado. Garrick swear to mountain. Garrick avenge murdered Ronso. Oh, Garrick. And then what if the Guado retaliate? I think is what, yeah. That's what you're Garrick supposed to say. Also. Oh, Garrick. Guado learn our strength, Mountain. Give Ronso. But if that happens, the fighting will never end. Ronso, fight until end. Oh, but Yuna's right, Garrick. You don't understand. And right here, yes. Then there won't be anyone left to fight. And then I think we've talked to all of them. Uh, is there one down here? No, there's not. Okay. Talk to him, talk to her. We talked to him pathing back there. Okay, we did all that. So now what we do is we teleport up to Faith Scar. And up here, there is one last Ronso, and you choose the second option for him as well. There we go. They should have taken better care of the mountain. And then we head out. Oh, nope, not on the platform. We head out this way. And we do have a couple of chests to get in this area. Um, but they are all in the Faith Scar area. So it's um, it's kind of like before when we were at Mount Gagazet, there was really no reason to walk up the mountain because there's just not chests in that area um, or like anyone worth talking to or anything like that. So you would just teleport right up to Faith Scar and everything that you would want is here in Faith Scar.
Must be up ahead. Uh, you mean we're supposed to climb this? No wonder the Ronso never come here. Hey, there's <gasps> one. Look, she jumping. All right, mission time. We got to get our last uniform. So I'm pretty sure you just you climb up this first. This place is a little confusing to navigate, so it might take me a little bit to remember. And then, okay, the first chest. Oh, nope, it's not that way. So you climb up, and then it's across here somewhere. Okay, yeah, here it is. So the first chest, okay. So you have to like walk slowly up to it, otherwise the, the little platform gets scared and moves away from you. Oh, it's still gone away. Piece of cake. So long. Okay, I don't... I'm just gonna zone into here and then go back out. That should reset it. Okay, we're gonna walk slowly this time. All right, very slow, very slow, very slow. Yeah, got it. Now it's not scared and you can get an elixir. Okay, then we're gonna go inside the cave and I think we just go to the end of this. I don't think there's anything special you do in here. Oh wait, no, you have to go this direction. <sighs> yes, this direction. There is a little special. You have to go down the other side to get the chest. These poor goons HP is just no match for me. There we go. Hi potion. Now we just go to the end. Bye, monsters. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. Hell yeah. Get him. Yeah, that is nice having the perma protect effect. I like that. I like that for Riku a lot. Then she's our main healer. Oh, they jump good. Oh, everybody learned something that time. Wow. Okay, let's go look. Let's go look at our new abilities. Okay, she's just got Delay Buster. Let's have her do Assault first, because it's a little cheaper, and then she can de learn Delay Buster, and then she'll be done with... She'll be done with Warrior. All right, uh, Physicist. Okay, she can learn that. Okay, Quarter Pounder and on the level. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is... I think there's another chest. 
over here? Maybe not? Oh, no, there is. Okay. It's another floaty one, so you gotta walk slow. Don't do the run cycle, just do the walk. Push the control stick just barely. There we go. Got it. This is a white cape. So there's a specific way you have to view the scene to get extra percentage points that when you're doing this. So I'm going to go down to the save sphere and save and then try to remember where exactly I'm supposed to be. Because you're not supposed to follow them, like you're supposed to go another way. Okay. Oh, fight. Can't go to the save sphere yet. So you're not supposed to follow them around there, I think. I think we're supposed to go... Yeah, not that way. You're supposed to go up, right? I think this is right. And instead of going to the left, I think I go to the right, and then there's like a different entrance to that same cave. <gasps> Why you kill Yuna? That's so rude. I kill you. I kill you in response. And Riku, the fuck? Don't you kill her, Fang Pain? Good, it failed. get. They should not have instant kills. Those enemies should not have instant kills. That's so wrong. Okay, let's keep going. It's around this way, right? Like, can you go in here? Oh no, this is a chest. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I do need to go in here. Phoenix down! I think I go this way? Over here. This is it. Okay, you gotta do go this way. Ah, <sighs> that water felt great. Can you believe there's a hot spring in a place like this? But isn't this supposed to be sacred Ronso ground? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. What? You think some Ronso boogeyman is gonna come get you? <laughs> Better that than the boss, you know what I mean? Hey! You two been slacking off! No, we were, uh, getting ready for duty. Just trying to, uh, rejuvenate, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ormi runs away too. Ormi runs away too. And then here's the scene. <sighs> you only get this if they fall. What's this? A hot spring? Were those LeBlanc's goons? Look, they forgot 
something. That sure was easy. Yay, last uniform. Well, as long as we're here. On sacred ground? No one's looking. Feels great. <laughs> what have we here? What? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I know who's got it going on. Oh, excuse me? Riku's such a troublemaker. Want to get hurt? <laughs> you should check out pain. <laughs> Ugh, hurt time. Some of their other costumes are more revealing than that. Uh, you want some? Ooh, let me help. Where were we? Uh, I didn't mean it. Too, Too late. late. That's what you get, Riku. Yuna, what's all the noise? <laughs> Glad brother Just missed this. A Call the take. I'll be there right now. No. no. Dip over. Dip over. Don't worry, I knocked him out. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I really needed that. All right, now we got to go back out. So we got the uniform, but we got to get back out. You notice you cannot get to the airship. You can only save. So you can't leave just yet. We got to go this way. We'll be taking that uniform back. If we lose it, the LeBlanc will give us the heal. That's not my problem. You joined. You joined. Okay. I don't think she's holding you hostage. You can leave at any time. Oh, I didn't mean to freaking do that. Phoenix down. Waste of Phoenix down. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. All right, there's one more fight. Lousy goat wings! Falling down on people like that gave me a little surprise. That's all. Oh, that's all? That's all? For a little surprise, you sure took a while to come back. Who asked you? All right, so we can take on Ormi by himself. I already took out your goons. Sorry, Ormi. Not really. Bye. See you later. This is brother. How is everything? Mission accomplished. <laughs> we found ourselves a uniform. Yes, we did. Roger. We're on our way. Mission complete. And we get the stone hewn garment grid. Oh. Now Yuna's got one too. It's perfect. We're off to Chateau LeBlanc. Let's settle the score. All right, so we have finished the mission. So it doesn't really matter what order you do those those three um, 
getting the uniforms in. At the end of it, you get the bum rush garment grid, and you get this scene right here. And then you're forced to go to the next hotspot, which is Guado Salam. So I want to check, I think, because I think the autosave will tell me. I just want to check our percentage. So yeah, 38.4 is the percentage you should be at at this point, and that is exactly where we're at when I check the autosave. Because of course I cannot do a manual save, because it's going to force me to go to Guado Salam. So let's go. And from here you cannot, you can't do anything else anymore. So you don't want to find all three uniforms until you're like ready to be done. Okay, let's do an actual save. There we go. Okay, we were already here for the other stuff, so the only thing we haven't done is the ending. I so let's go. Works. Worried after we're caught. Okie dokie, let's change. Okay. Mission time. Nobody steals from the gull wings. Reporting for duty. D thanks. Another smashing success. We're not done yet. Where's the sphere? <gasps> Thank you, LeBlanc. Anything for you, love. Now I finally know the location of Vegnagun. Spira is in for a rough ride. Take care. <sighs> yes, love. Bye. Oh, how long must we be apart? These days without you are not easy on me, love. <sighs> Poor LeBlanc. <clears throat> so before we go up to LeBlanc, I just want to make sure if there's a scene in here. Yeah, there is. The boss is a different poison when that newt guy shows up. Mm-hmm. Huh? Suppressing her natural charm and acting like some housewife, she must be tense. You, go to the boss's chambre and tend to your duties. What duties? You know, use your talents to help her uh, unwind. Oh boy. Oh boy. This mini game. Okay. Here we go. All right. Give me one second before we do this mini game. I have to pee. I'll be right back, you guys. Let's pause. Yeah. Be right back. Okay, we're back. All right. I didn't think I could do the mini game without that. And I want to win this mini game cuz you get different prizes if you win the mini game versus losing, and I want to win it. Ah, oh, that time already, is it? Don't hold back. <laughs> okay. I won't hold back. She has a statue to him. Isn't that weird? It's kind of weird. A photo would make more sense. I'm waiting. All right, you gotta give him a LeBlanc a massage, all right? It's basically like Minesweeper. Um, yeah, that's bad. Oh, that's bad too. Okay, maybe it's the middle? Not there. Okay. Fuck, there, I'm fucking it up. Groping. There we go. Ooh, you're good. You wanna get the pink ones. All right, let's try there. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. There we go. There we go. Stop that. Stop that. Oh my god. There we go. That hurts. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. 
Watch where you grab, you klutz. Do it again. Okay, I think... Yeah, I wanted to do a good job on the mini game, so I don't think I don't think I did it. Okay, let me restart. Hopefully the autosave isn't too far back. Cause I definitely want to get the golden hairpin, because you get the golden hairpin if you do well on the minigame. If you don't do well, you get this you get a different prize. I don't remember what it is, but I want the golden hairpin. Let's see where the autosave is. Okay, perfect. It does let me restart right here. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, LeBlanc. All right, let's do better this time. Stop that. Already better. Ooh. Ah, there. Do you want to get the pink hearts? That hurts. Blue is the worst. And they, as it gets closer to the pink, it'll be like the green and the yellow. Like you can see. Oh, you can't see the points. So blue is zero. Green is one. Yellow is two. Red is five points. So we want to get the red ones. Not quite. Okay, so if it's green... Then that means red S3 either has to be here. Yep. Uh, there. Or it could have been the bottom one. Okay. So if that's green, that means red could potentially be here. Yes. Or it could have been in the other corners. Oh, lucky. Okay, so since that's yellow, red either has to be here or here. Oh, it's not there. There. Okay, now we've passed the 32. Okay, we have one more round, though. Okay, we did it. That's what you want to do to get the gold hairpin. When did you get so good at this? Uh, um, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. Oh, right there. Yes, don't stop. Ah, Nooji Wooji is such a manly man, don't you think? He can be blunt, but that makes the occasional smile all the more irresistible. All oh, a blanc. That godly smile. That's the whole reason I became a sphere hunter. <sighs> oh, if only there was some miracle sphere, something that could make him truly happy. What I wouldn't give. Huh. Oh. And she's asleep. She fell asleep. Oh, I'm that good? The boss fell asleep again. <laughs> One massage and she's out like a light. Yeah, it's not you, Yuna. It's how she is. Too, Cause she had something important to tell us. We'll just have to keep waiting. In the meantime, you go make sure the switch panel is working. Uh, switch. The back of the living room. The same one as always. I don't know how they don't figure that out, that we're not really goons. Welcome in, Gotch. Welcome in, by the way. Hello. So sorry I didn't respond earlier. Um, During these these uh, RPGs, we like to be... Uh, we don't really respond to chat during the cutscenes. We call it like popcorn mode. They really had to shoot down our confidence. They really did. Welcome in, by the way. We love Final Fantasy here. We have a 100% run through of Final Fantasy X that we did. And now we're doing a new Yevon run of Final Fantasy X 2. So if that's up your alley, um, drop me a follow. We also play a lot of Sims too. So if you like Sims, um, and we do a media analysis podcast. The next one is going to be on the Hunger Games movies. Ah, thank you so much, friend. Thank you so much for the follow, friendo. I appreciate it. What does it 
do? Huh? That's it? What a letdown! idea was that? Take it up with the boss. Boss? Uh. <clears throat> I've had this thing on too long. Let's change. Yeah, pain, let's change. I love pain too. She's awesome. She's a great addition. Shut up. Shut up already. Hmm? Who's there? Ah, the Galways. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Lucky for everybody, we've kicked Army's ass so many times, we just have to do it again. Yeah, pain is so cool. So, you know, I was a big I was a big fan of um of 10, and so I never really played 10 2 all the way through until recently because certain things about Yuna's character in the early couple chapters that they do bother me a little bit. But um when I reached 400 followers, we did like a, you know, beat 100% 10 2 in a week. And um and I did it and I finally got to the end. And I actually really like 10 2, not just for the combat system, which I always loved the combat dress fear system. Um, 10 2 is fun. Yes, 10 2 has the best combat of, of Final Fantasy, I swear. So good. And I always thought that, but I just had, I had struggles with certain things with Yuna's character. But they make up for it in the end with other things, so I can forgive the couple of scenes I dislike. Bam, bam, bam. So now we're doing like a real let's play of it where I show everything. Okay. So, actually, however, it is time for me to take a stretch break. So we're going to pause the recording. If you are watching on YouTube for the VODs, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.